The landscape of social biases has shifted significantly from the mid-20th century to present day, both in nature and in their implications for men. While the issues faced by American men in the 1940s, such as compulsory military service, expectations of being the breadwinner, racial discrimination, and cultural expectations of stoicism, can differ in some ways from those faced by men today, the root cause, societal expectations for men and its biases, remains a constant. This article will aim to navigate this complex issue by examining how these biases have evolved and their impacts on men by comparing biases prevalent in the 1940s and those experienced today. In some cases, biases remain unchanged, others are radically different. In the 1940s, men were under pressure to fulfill the role of the breadwinner. The societal norm dictated that men were responsible for providing for their families. This was often at the expense of their personal ambitions and desires. They were required to take on stressful, demanding jobs, and the emotional and physical tolls of this burden was largely unrecognized. An expectation of inherent stoicism from men of the era had devastating effects on men's mental health. Men were encouraged to suppress their emotions, to keep a stiff upper lip, and soldier on. The societal consensus seemed to be that men were not allowed to be vulnerable or emotional. This attitude, in turn, deprived men of the opportunity to seek help and exacerbated the psychological issues they faced. Significant racial discrimination impacted men from minority ethnic backgrounds, affecting various aspects of their lives. They faced high unemployment rates and unjust wages, perpetuating economic inequality. Discrimination also extended to law enforcement and the justice system, resulting in unfair treatment, profiling, and harsher sentences. These injustices were part of a larger set of inequities faced by men of minority ethnic backgrounds. In today's society, men still face numerous social biases. Some remain unchanged, such as the prevalence of racial discrimination and expectations that men should sacrifice pursuit and cultivation of their personal lives for the material support of others. In the contemporary era, the legal system faces criticism for its bias in favoring women highlighting a stark contrast with the changing dynamics of gender roles in society. One such example is the expectation for men to relinquish half of their assets to support women in divorce settlements, even as women have gained opportunities to enter the workforce and establish their own financial independence. This requirement underscores the anachronistic nature of the legal system and its biases, rooted in outdated norms and failing to adapt to the evolving realities today. The presumption that women are inherently dependent and in need of financial support perpetuates stereotypes that undermine the realities that women have been able to participate in the workforce for decades. The dismantling of men's fraternal organizations over the course of decades leading to the modern day has led to a decrease in spaces where men can congregate and support one another. This can be seen as a symptomatic form of bias against men, contributing to a decrease in men's community support structures and opportunities for camaraderie. Such changes have occurred due to the work of political activists, their parallel litigation efforts, because men were and are seen as lacking the need of gender-specific spaces. Mutual support has been viewed as a threat to these political groups. Once called manhood factories, such organizations seeking to cultivate well-rounded and healthy young men have been shuttered, at least in terms of their original purpose. Prevalent biases against men over the course of decades as underscored in this shift have been responsible for this change. In the present day, as racial discrimination against minority men continues to persist, another form of discrimination has emerged, commonly referred to as reverse discrimination. Alongside efforts such as affirmative action and policies aimed at promoting racial diversity, Caucasian men now face obstacles in terms of recruitment into colleges and job opportunities. Such policies inadvertently create an environment where individuals from certain racial backgrounds may encounter barriers despite their individual qualifications. The rise of artificial sexual identities for men, created by feminists to divide men into factions, have led to the internalization of fears and phobias. Through the creation of manufactured identities outside the scope of gender, men have been fractured as a group. By instilling fears between men of the same gender, those holding biases against men have grown capable of preventing men from organizing, creating gender-specific spaces, developing institutions, and providing mutual support. Men have in this way been socially engineered to self-police their own behavior and fear their fellow men.
Internalized misandry has emerged as a very serious issue facing men today, contributing to high rates of suicide, mental health issues, and unemployment. The prevalence of bias stacked against men now extends beyond societal constructs and can now be found intricately woven into the fabric of technology, particularly in artificial intelligence systems. While considerable media attention is given to the biases present in the datasets used to train these systems, a less discussed issue is that of intentional or design bias. Those in positions of power or influence over the development of AI incorporate their personal prejudices, beliefs, and ideologies into these systems. A potent example of this is content moderation algorithms used by various social media platforms. These AI systems are trained to prioritize or suppress different types of content based on criteria set by their creators. Viewpoints that don't align with those of the creators are suppressed, leading to an unbalanced representation of information and viewpoint. AI systems such as ChatGPT with built-in design bias consistently churn out art responses peppered with trendy perspectives that men often philosophically share nothing in common with and find offensive, particularly when they as a gender group are directly maligned. The social biases faced by men have evolved significantly from the 1940s to today. While some forms of bias, such as racial discrimination, have remained constant, others have morphed or emerged anew with the changing times. What do you think? What other social biases have you faced as a man living in today's world?
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this. Oh, my God.